In this demonstration, we'll have a look at logging into Office 365 Admin Center, and then what we'll do is we'll just have a look at um, the Users menu, the Domains menu, and the Message Center menu. So what I've done here is I come into Office 365. Within Office 365, I'll click on the grid. Then within the grid here, what we'll do is we'll go for Admin. That'll then take me into the Admin Center. So as you can see on the Admin Center, the dashboard gives us some useful information. So it's given us information to the current health, currently of Office 365. So have a look down here and as we'd expect current health no issues right so one of the menus that we're going to look at just in this uh, little di uh, demo here we're going to have a look at users so within users we can do things like having a look at active users because this is a business account so what we can do here is we can see the current users select our view here so we can have a look at users sign in loud sign in blocked unlicensed users users with errors we've got billing admins global admins password admins so we've got role based here as well so one of the other menus we've got here is we've got domains so if we click on domains what we can see here is we can see that my setup is currently complete for my domain and we can see my domain in place here so at this point here, I'm using the domain that was used when I created my trial account. Now, one of the things you can do within Office 365 is you can use your own domain. So I'm just happening to use the one that got created by default. And the final thing within here as well is we also have the message center. So within the message center, what we can see here is we can see information relating to Office 365. So the nice thing about here is if we have a look just at the top one here, an updated feature, they're announcing a new version of the Office 365 admin app. So let's click on that. So it's giving me details within here, telling me how it's going to affect me and also as well, what do I need to do to prepare? And looking down here, perfectly honest, there's not a lot that I need to worry about. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of looking at the Office 365 admin center. But as you can see, there are quite a few options that we have in place here. So we could do things like set up our Office 365 account, have a look at the company profile information, have a look at contacts, shared mailboxes, meeting rooms, groups. So as you can see, it is quite feature rich. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.